Kevin Coughlin from the Star Ledger. With me here at Rutgers today is engineer Jerome Pearson. He has worked on the Apollo project. He's worked on Air Force spaceborne lasers. Now he has a company, Star Inc. So tell me, what is a lunar space elevator? Huh. A lunar space elevator is uh, akin to the Earth space elevator. It's a connection between uh, stationary orbit and the ground. And it allows you to climb up the structure uh, just like you would take an elevator up to the top of a tall building, except it's about 40,000 floors. But uh, it allows you to go into space without rockets, without having to have dangers of solid rocket boosters explode or go awry. Uh, you can use simple mechanical means or electrical means to climb an elevator. And uh, if there's a problem, you can just stop and wait till you get it fixed and then continue your journey on into space. And it has a tremendous carrying capacity and allows us to carry a lot of material, a lot of mass into orbit. It'd be a very uh, cheap way of, of getting into space. How cheap? Uh, well, uh, right now it costs around uh, $20,000 a pound to get something into uh, low Earth orbit. Uh, we'd like to get down to about 500. <coughs> and it's a ribbon of what? It's a high strength material. Uh, for the Earth space elevator, it has to be something like carbon nanotubes which are uh, very high strength, and we don't really have them available right now. But for the moon, uh, it's got much less gravity, and you can build the lunar space elevator out of uh, conventional existing materials, and that's what I propose to the NASA Institute for Advanced Concepts on our contract. 